Hello everyone, I hope that you all had a very Merry Christmas and that you had a wonderful holiday with your family. We had the best time. I, you know, obviously just took the weekend off and I really hang out on YouTube, but <laughs> I checked in here and there, but overall we just had the best time and um, I'm very excited to get back into filming some videos and very excited to share with you guys what I got for Christmas. I film this every year and you guys always seem to really enjoy it for me. I I love this time of year. It's all about, you know, the whole true meaning of Christmas. And for me, it's like giving back. And, you know, this time of year is always the time of year when we do give back to different things that we that we do every year. Gift giving is just my favorite. This year was super, super special. For obvious reasons, it's my first year as a mom and Olivia had the best time. We had the best time with presents with her. I wasn't really sure if she was going to really, you know, have fun opening them or if I should just set them up. She had opened some presents at her grandparents' house and really enjoyed the paper and everything. So, you know, last minute, Santa was wrapping her presents and she really, really had a good time. Did my eyelash just fall off? I mean, it feels like it's right there. Okay. But anyway, she had the best time. It was it was so much fun, like magical fun, perfect day. It was just so, so great and just seeing her so happy. So I have thoroughly enjoyed this year as a mom. It has just been so wonderful and um, Christmas was just, Christmas was just amazing. And for me this year, you know, I'm the worst. I always say, you know, even when I was a kid and stuff, I wasn't really, I don't know, I'm just not a big Christmas list maker. I don't really know what to say when people ask me what I want for Christmas and Brad and I are always just, you know, we get things for, we know what each other likes and we just have fun shopping for each other and this year and pretty much every year we're always like, okay, you know, no gifts, you know, we're, we're doing stuff to the house, we're just going to do this, this will be our Christmas, that'll be our, and we always end up buying things for each other because we can't resist and it's so much fun. I, I had the best time giving him his presents and he went a little nuts and got me some really, really fun and exciting things and I thought that I would share them. He like really surprised, he had me like going on scavenger hunt, it was fun, it, we, had a, we had the best morning, it was so much fun. So I have a couple of really nice things, I have a new bag, I, it, it, bleh, it's just really overwhelming. Um, I'm gonna kinda show you, cause I haven't packed it yet, but I have my stuff here, I thought that I would kinda do that in this video, since I think it's gonna go pretty fast. And then I also have some new Sephora things that I'm just gonna kinda roll in too. So, let's just do it. So my first gift came in this beautiful David Yerman box. I'd never had anything by David Yerman before, and honestly, I'd never been super excited by David Yerman. I don't know, just for whatever reasons, but Brad, years back, had seen this necklace, and Brad's not a big jewelry guy, but he had seen this necklace years ago when we were in Vegas, and I ended up getting it for him, so that was kind of fun, and that was a David Yerman thing. He ended up getting me a David Yerman thing, so that was really funny. He got me these beautiful, I'll have to take them off, but I, I'm so obsessed. Y'all know that I'm like a stud earring girl. I, I wrapped the box back up so I could keep it all cute. The little prongs around the pearl are the um, kind of like twisted, the silver like rope like they always kind of do. And then in each of the prongs, there's a little diamond in the front. So I was really, really excited about these and they're very me. I really love them. I have a strand of pearls. I really don't wear that much. I need to get that out. But yeah, it's just, it's so pretty. I, I just love it so much. What I'm wearing today though, this is um, an HRH choker that I got a while back. My little, all my little goodies that I got a while back from her. And then this is a Michael Starr shirt that is really old. I don't even think they sell it anymore. Just to get that out of the way. And we'll talk makeup and stuff at the end. Um, but yeah, I just, I love these so much. I'm so, so, so excited about these. Brad got me some pajamas and I was about to put them in the wash this morning, but I thought, no, I want to show them in the video. I love Victoria's Secret pajamas. You can't beat the silky ones. I have a couple pairs of these. I have a black pair and a leopard pair and he got me these striped ones. Brad got me a new fragrance. I love this box. The box itself is really cool. I've been using it, but I put it back in the box. I haven't used the lotions yet, but he got me the Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. And I believe the one that I used to have, I think, was tuberose. But I think this one's just total. This one is totally different. But oh my gosh, it smells so amazing. It smells kind of like Viva La Juicy, but better, like a little more sophisticated, uh, a little more like Gardenia, obviously. But I love it. I love this bottle. These little. I mean, I just think Gucci fragrances are some of the best. 
And then what's cool is, in the set, it's two lotions. It's not like a shower gel and a lotion, because I don't really, it's just two lotions. So I'm really excited about that. I can put one in my purse, but how gorgeous. I love that set. It's just very floral, but it's, but it's very, it's a very sophisticated floral. If you like floral, but sometimes they might smell a little, like, Cheap, which is good sometimes. I, I, I like that. The Dior Blooming Bouquet kind of smells like that. This one smells a little sophisticated, a little more sophisticated. So so I won't tease you any longer. We got to the very end and, you know, Olivia had opened her stuff. She was playing. Everything was good. Brad and I had opened our gifts. And like I said, you know, we weren't really expecting anything um, or anything big from each other. But like I said, you know, I bought him something nice. But we, we really just had so much fun, I think, this year shopping for Olivia, shopping for each other. We just really got into it. So which is what it's all about. It's fun. I think it's so fun gift giving and getting things for other people. But he gave me this envelope and literally sent me like all over the house scavenger hunt style. And at the end was this beautiful box. I kind of flipped. I really didn't know what to expect. And um, you know, it has a really pretty holiday ribbon. It's not in here, but I will kind of like reveal it, but I'm not gonna put it all back. So it came in. This dust bag, like I said, should I put it in the dust bag? Should, okay, whatever, no, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, so it came in that. And my little receipt with Cindy. He shopped with Cindy, which was fun. Brad stopped at Mayer's, so he has, <laughs> is he trying to send me a message? He got it from the Linux location. Y'all are gonna die. It is the Speedy 30 Bandolier in the Damier of Ben, which is my favorite. This is my favorite print. I just love it so much. And it's so funny. Cindy knows that I like a little extras and ribbons. So she gave me another set of, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. That might wrap it around like another box. She gave me another set of little holiday ribbon in here. Like I said, I haven't put anything in it yet. I have a little thing that had my keys in it, or that still has my keys in it. Um, the only thing I've done to it so far is the lock is always on this. I took it off and put it on the side like I did with my other one because when you pull it back and forth, like my Luminous PM had that, you tend to grab the lock, and if you don't grab the lock, you grab the, and it just kind of makes it awkward. It puts a lot of stress on the zipper. So if you're not using the lock, I think it's best to just do it like that. Keep your keys you know, with you in case if you need to use it. But um, it's just so gorgeous. I used, my very first uh, Speedy that I used to carry way back before YouTube was a 30. It belonged to my aunt, so I gave it back to my mom. Um, but yeah, the first Speedy that I bought was a 35, and it's a regular Speedy. Those are pretty big. Then my Speedy B Empreinte is a 25. So now I have a 25, a 30, and a 35. And I'm not kidding, the bandolier is just like the way to go. I freaking love this so much. I don't think I would go, this is the perfect size. The 25 and the 30 I think are perfect. I don't think I would go any larger for a bandolier just because they go around your body. And I think, you know, it, this is just the perfect size. This or the 25. I think any larger, because this does, I believe, come in a 35. I think any larger would just be too big on me, especially since it's like a crossbody. But how fabulous is that? Like, I love it so much. I just, I cannot get over it. So I am super, super thrilled with this. It's like I always say, the Damier is just the perfect, it has the bright red interior. I have the Alma PM that I added the strap to, and it has the, uh, like, the plummy interior that they did for a little while. But this one, oh my gosh, I just, I love it so much. I love the red. It's just beautiful. Is this the... Oh, here's the tag. The tag and the little textile card. It's a Speedy Bandolier NM30 Damier. I'm so obsessed with this. Like, I can't even tell you. This is going to be so perfect. This is like the perfect mom bag. Let me show you what all I'm going to fit into this thing. Because I, I know what the 25 holds. This is going to be nuts. I can put Olivia's stuff in here, too. And it would be, like, no problem. Lately, I've been carrying my uh, Prada diaper bag a lot. Just because I, I don't know, I just, I've been enjoying carrying it. And we've just been going a lot of places lately and you just can't beat that. But yeah, I can put a lot of her stuff in here too. So, so I'm going to pack it for the first time because I'm going to start carrying it. You can also take this third piece. The, the bandoliers have this kind of strap. You can take this third piece out. Like I did with my uh, 25, the Emprunt one for a while. And then you, you know, you hook these two pieces together and then it makes it small. You can carry it like shoulder style, which how cute will that be? Let me just kind of, you know, you could carry it kind of like, boop. Um, but I kind of, I've, I've been enjoying 
my other one, my 25, like as a, and they're so different. Like I'm so happy that it's just so different. I just, I love it. I have been wanting a speedy in the dummy print for a long, long time because I'm just in love with the with this particular canvas. I love it so much. So it just could not be more perfect. I love it so much. So I'm going to put my Sarah wallet in it because lately I've been using this little guy as a wallet, which I love. But, um, and I know this is like Louis Vuitton Explosion, but that's what I carry. That's what I like. So whatever. This is um, huge, a huge wallet, but it actually is like nothing in here. These hold so much. This I still have some things in. I have some just like random, so I can even put that in there if I don't wanna like get into removing all that. And then I have this, which has, you know, my, um, just some, I have like my face spray and just like a compact and just some lip gloss. This is what I keep my cosmetics in and I have a couple band-aids and just like little things like that. It's my little mini pochette. How freaking adorable. Do they look together? Oh my gosh, I'm dying, that's so cute. Okay, and then my sunglasses. I love the Celine sunglass case more than any other. It's just so perfect, so that goes in there. And um, my keys, you guys have seen all the, these things before, but my keys, I did get a little mark on this. I never got a mark on my other one, my one that, that was like this. This is a six key holder. But I had the four and the Amarant, and I never got any marks on it, maybe because it was dark and I never knew. I've got a little mark on it. I don't know what happened, but whatever. I don't I really don't care. It doesn't bother me. And then some little mints. And it's like not even a quarter full. I could, and it feels so comfortable. This is where they fold it when they pack speedies. Um, I know my other one was like that too when I got it. They fold them. So, oh my gosh, how perfect is that? I just, I love it. I love the shape of this bag. I love speedies to like look very soft. I like to have them look saggy a little. So I can't even, and I love this little pocket in the speedies for your phone. It's just perfect. I love it. I just, it could not be any more perfect. So this is my new love. Brad just always makes me feel really special, but he made me feel really special this year. That was really sweet of him. I figure why not add a few little Sephora things? I mean, it's it's not even, well, it's not, not just Sephora, but some different types of things. So I got this uh, Kevin Aquan. It is the Contour Book Volume 2, The Art of Sculpting and Defining. And um, it has this mirror. It has this little guy, which I don't think is super necessary. I don't, th this kind of makes it awkward sometimes, the mirror doesn't always stick, you know, it kind of flops. I think they could have just added that separately, but the products themselves are really great. These are all eyeshadows and that's what I did today. You can create just like a really good eye look with this and I wasn't quite sold on it at first. It still bothers me because there's cream products and powder and that always drives me nuts. Like I can see powder in this right now and I'm always kind of worried that they're gonna dry out, you know what I mean? Um, since this doesn't like do super but I, I mean I think it'll be fine but these Kevin Aquan sculpting or creams this is the only one that I don't know if they come in different shades it's called sculpting cream it is the best like so blendable so perfect that's what I'm wearing today and you know it is just a contour you can't really use it all over like real soft like I use my Chanel bronze universal you can use a bronzer to contour um, you know, it's a little warmer. You can do it kind of real soft like I do, but you can't really use a cool contour to bronze. <laughs> you feel me? It's just, it's two separate things, but you can use, it just depends on the tone of the product, whether it's called a bronzer or a contour. Like, for example, like in the NYX contour palette, these, I still think this is my favorite powder contour palette by far. Um, these are all contour powders, but some of them, this one, very warm. So you can use it as a bronzer like that. So, you know, it's just about, gosh, I've almost hit pan on that one. I need to bust this out again and really use it. It's just, you know, I feel like I've got so many contour products right now, especially the ones I'm about to show you. This is good. I use the Chanel uh, Bronze Universal just kind of, it, after I did my foundation, you know, just to kind of warm up my skin. And then I took this and used it with this brush by Sigma. It's the Extreme Structure Contour. And just, you know, really small. And it looks really natural. It's really nice. It's not greasy. It blends really, really well. You can set it with a sculpting powder, which is the same type of tone, same deal. 
The only thing, the candlelight cream and the candlelight powder, the cream is so subtle. I think if you had a darker skin tone, it would be gorgeous. But for me, I'm pretty fair and it just doesn't show up. It would have to be a bit brighter. The candlelight powder is very similar to the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Highlight. That is my love, that is my favorite but it is, again, a hair darker than that. Um, it's more like skin tone shade for me, so it doesn't really show up. It'd have to be just a little brighter, so still I prefer those other ones. I just wish I had just the sculpting cream and a little, maybe just these, because I don't really use that, so, but very good. I think if you are a hair darker than me, you would love it. I love it, uh, but I just, these, I guess it'd be for a more natural look, so I will use it. But if I really wanted it to show up, I'd have to use something else. But a nice little kit, I think. I'm pretty impressed with this. And um, like I said, too, these eye colors are just phenomenal. So that's what I used today. Um, I did get the TARDIS contour palette. And I feel like I'm so confused with all my different things. Because it's like, with this, I can use this. But... I use a different highlighter. I'll grab for like my Laura Mercier, you know, like I have to use that. But then I like the eye stuff. So it's like I have this whole part that I don't really use. I don't know, but if you are into powders, I think this is a good one. I wasn't so sure about it at first. Like when I swatched it, they seemed a little like they didn't show up, but when I actually used them, they did. So you've got two highlight shades, like a creamy sort of pinky toned one a sort of yellow light one, a really white one that I really like, like for here, it reminds me of my Hourglass Ethereal Light that I love. I don't know if it's just this one that is, maybe it's just that one. Yeah, I think it is, that's what it is. So this is a different contour color. This one is one of the chocolate bronzers. So I love that. I love that this one has a bronzer that I could use kind of all over softly, you know, like you would use a bronzer. And then just in those little areas, kind of like I did with the contour cream, you can go back with this one. Um, you can really lighten it up with the white. And then you've got this color that says accentuate that I use today as a blush. So really cool. I didn't use these though. These didn't really show up on me at all, but these, two don't show up on me at all. But these colors are all really, really nice. So this is a nice palette to have. And um, yeah, it smells, smells good, it smells like chocolate. But you know, it's so funny because I keep going back to this. I like to have a palette that is like an all-in-one. So it kind of irks me with those that, especially with the Kevin Aquan that I have to reach for something else. With this Tardist one, I really don't have, actually, yeah, I do because I would use my uh, Laura Mercier, whatever, okay, whatever. I mean, I guess it's not a big deal. But this has everything. This has the Laura Mercier color that I love. This has a bronzer that is very warm, so you're not gonna get like that really, you know, you could still use it as a soft contour. And then it's got this bronzy blush. So this one, I think if you were traveling or something, would be pretty ideal. Yeah, like a lot of different contour type products lately. Um, Oh, on my lips, I'm wearing this. This is new. It's the Sigma Power Crayon and Rub Rubicon. I'll link to it, but these are nice. They're they're just very, you know, it's that typical looking large stick product, but it's a really nice lip color, and um, I really like it. So that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you all had a very, very Merry Christmas with your families. I will probably see you one more time this year with my favorites. After that, I've got so many great things coming up. Like I said, January is going to be so, so cool. I'm so excited. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all very soon. Bye.